guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So, your boy has hit 400 Link level 10 units. Um, I typically do do an update for this, like, every 100 units or so. I definitely will do a video when I hit 500 units, but I might not do one for, like, six or 700 or anything like that. Because the game has definitely changed with Link leveling now that version Z is here. Um, now that version Z is here... I, if I'm really pushing it, I can get a unit done in nearly, like, a single day. Um, I think with just the ease in which uh, auto, you know, and version Z sort of makes, we're just getting these units done, right? Now, I did the 300 Link Level 10 unit video. That was September 20th. And then when version Z came out sometime around November 20th, I was at, like, 320 units or something like that. Like, I did not do much link leveling in, you know, September, October, start of November. Um, and then these last, like, December and November, I just pummeled link levels, right? Um, I'm recording this video on uh, December 31st, so it's New Year's Eve right now, 2021. Um, and I have just torched units over the last month, you know, with um, the auto link leveling and stuff like that. I am actually am at 401. But the unit who is actually number 400 for me, my 400th uh, Link Level 10 unit, is, of course, the new Super Saiyan 2 sl uh, slash Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, had pretty decent luck with him. Um, I got to about three links away, and then he hovered there for several days, and then I just, boom, bam, 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 just in consecutive runs, got the last couple of links. So I'll make sure to have a Level 10 Link video for this guy out very, very soon. Um... So I want to show the strategy um, I have adopted for link leveling at this point, right? So if we go ahead and go in, for the longest time, the strat we did... I'll go ahead and run 23-8 right here just for the one time. But the strat we did is we ran 23-8. This was the link level stage, right? Um, oh, yeah. As you guys can see, it's been a long time. This is, you know, back when versions he originally, like, like first dropped. This is the last time I actually ran this stage. Um, the link level team I'm using right now is this one right here. Um, Kid Boo is one link away along with some of these other units. So let's go ahead and hop in. So, 23-8. I, I know even though I feel as though I found a superior stage to 23-8, um, in, uh, stage 8-9, this is still a stage a lot of people run. Now, right away, we're encountering issues. Like, the, the reason I don't run this stage anymore, this is, like, this is perfect, right? There's a sideman on this middle path and a sideman on this right path. What if... Okay, so remember, Kid Boo is one link away. What if Kid Boo's link is this on this guy right here, but I go down the right path? We miss it. Boom. Like, there's so many different, like... like the, 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 again, this is, this is exactly why I don't run this stage anymore. It's because you're missing out on so many links. Look at this. I'm getting cocked. We're probably not going to hit this one right here either. Nope, we didn't hit that. Um, okay, let's... <laughs> all right, uh, looks like we're gonna miss this Cyberman too as well. And the thing is, you could say, well, that could happen to you when you do 8-9, but it, it's much more uncommon because there's so many stop sign fights. So you're able to sort of clear these big numbers away. Again, we're gonna go over all this, but we'll be able to hit this Cyberman right here. But again, this is the stage that I was running, you know, for months and months, over a year. You know, I, I ran this stage as a link leveling stage for, what, like, uh, 15 months, basically? Um, you know, just doing, I, I ran this, you know, dozens of times per day for 15 months, you know, just doing this as a link leveling stage. Um, and you know, your stamina usage is higher. Yeah. We're using, um, 23 stamina for the stage compared to the stage I find superior now. So because of that, you do have a higher chance of getting a link level, uh, from one of these sidemen fight than you do from the fights, uh, from stage eight, and nine. But again, one of the big problems I've found here is that it's pretty common where many of the Cybermen fight on the map we are actually missing. We're not hitting most of the Cybermen fights that are on this map, right? So it's like if you load in with, you know, triple sixes on your dice, you're in a really bad spot. You're going to miss so many Cybermen and consequently, you know, subsequently so many link levels as well. What is that? That's eight right there. Um, uh, dude, yeah, we... I got, dude, this is exactly, this is exactly, I, I love so much, thank you, Dokkan. Dokkan truly is the greatest game known to mankind. Thank you for having my back and proving this for me when I want, this is exactly, yeah, because we get all these big numbers, we miss most of these Cybermen fight, 
Just all these link levels are just sitting here on the board. We're just wasting time. The reason why it's like, you know, a unit is one link away and me and Gresh for months laughed like, oh, you're halfway done is because you get to that one link away and then you're just doing over and over and over and over and you just cannot hit, um, you know, the fight that has that last link level, right? It's, it's just a huge pain in the ass. Look at this. Yeah, th thank you so much. Yeah, great. Um, well, we'll get one incredible gem. Uh, actually, one advantage this stage does have, though, over stage 8 and 9 that I like to run is the incredible gems. Turles often drops incredible gems. You know, there's these little glowing spots that have them. Launch and peel off fights typically are on this stage as well. The stage I do, 8 and 9, does not drop any incredible gems. So I think you still potentially could, you know, maybe use some boosts for this stage. You know, because you, you're still going to get some um, incredible gems. Um, and then just, you know, if you're going to be doing auto link levels, you would do it on just stage 8, 9 instead, right? Um, so, like, here, what are we? We did this whole run, right? All we got was the one level 5 link for Super Saiyan Vegeta. That's all we got. Unless Turles has something. Because a lot of times... Yeah, that was a horrible, shitty run. A lot of times what you want is for the links to catch on that Turles fight. Because you have to do the Turles fight, right? Like, before you beat the, the fight, you're, you're doing that Turles stage. So, again, you load in, and the way link leveling works, this is true, as soon as the fight begins, like the stage begins, the, the link levels are assigned to certain fights, right? So, what you want is for the link levels to be assigned to the Turles fight, right? That's the main thing. Now, the stage I've been running is this one right here, 8-9. Now, not only do I do this whenever I'm autoing, I use this for my boosted runs, if I'm doing manual link, this is the only stage I run. I, I, I don't run other stages. This is the stage I run to link level because it's like you jump in and we have all of these stop sign fights, right? All of the Ginyu Force are stop signs. And the other thing too is, let's say we load in and we have triple sixes right here. We'll be able to waste some of those on this stop sign, right? So that'll clear it and then hopefully we can get smaller numbers. And you could set up, right? Okay, so like look at after Goldo. Notice after Goldo it, that the Frieza Soldier is five spots away. So we know we can set up. I want to make sure that I have a five or at least, you know, a couple of things that will lead up to a five when we actually like, like beat that Goldo fight, right? That's pretty important. So, you know, using these, what's happening is when I'm doing manual runs, I'm hitting every fight that's on the board pretty much. Most, it's very uncommon that I do miss, obviously I do miss fights sometimes. Um, they definitely, they do not spit out as many Frieza soldiers in this event, in this stage, nearly as Cybermen. Cybermen, they, there's just a bajillion that show up. Now, there are a couple of spots where there's multiple pathway, pathways we could take. It is so very uncommon, dude. I'm telling y'all, it is so uncommon that I jump into one of these and, like, there's a fight on, like, the right path and the left path, right? Which, again, is one of my huge gripes with the Cybermen stage, where it's, like, you have two different times where there's a three-way path split. So you're missing so many um, of the Cybermen fights. I love so... Oh, my God, dude. This video turned out perfect. It, all the points I wanted to hit, like, the runs here actually displayed it, like, on display for me. Um, now, you know, we could go through this entire run right here and not really get any link levels either, just like the one from before. But at least, like, the reason why I choose to run this stage is being displayed to us, right? So, like, we know, again, when we beat this Goldo fight after this, we want to make sure that we have, um, f like, five. We want to be able to move five dice spots. But we have a two and a three, so we're good. So I'll just hang on to that two and a three right there, and we're, we're completely good to go. We're going to be able to go ahead and hit... Um, that Frieza soldier right there. And then after Birder, we just have to get a, a two right there. So let's hope to line up a two as well. So this is how I'm link leveling. And obviously with auto, now I, you know, we could hit this button right there and do the auto map right there. Um, it makes it very easy to, you know, maybe stream other things on 5.9 Gaming. You know, again, cook, go exercise. You know, maybe I, I go to like a doctor's appointment or something like that. I've had a bajillion doctor's appointments over the last couple months because I hurt my knee, right? So it's like, there's just... Autoing makes it very easy. Oh, we actually got a five right there. That's funny. 
Um, okay, and I do want to hang on to this, too, for that Frieza soldier right there. So let's go ahead and hit this five. Um, but the, this just makes it very easy. And the reason this stage is ideal if you're going to auto compared to the, the 23-8 is because all of the Ginyu Force are stop signs. So you're going to, every single time you beat this stage, you have to fight Goldo, Birder, Jace, Raccoon, and Ginyu. Five fights, m like minimum, you have to beat. Whereas the Cybermen stage... There's only one fight you have to do minimum, and that's Turles. You have to fight Turles. The rest you could hit none of the other fights on the entire board, right? So that's a huge important thing. And again, that, that's why I run this stage. Now, up to this point, we actually have gotten no luck. Look at this. We, we've gotten no link levels up to this point. So we actually have gotten some pretty bad luck. But uh, I am glad that at least I was able to show you guys like how you're able to line up your dice rolls so you can hit all of these Frieza Soldier fights, right? Um... Even though this stage costs less stamina. And stamina does directly correlate to the chance that each fight can get a link level on it. It does. Stamina does indeed matter. It's not made up. It, it does matter. Right? Um, and then, of course, also remember that this stage does not drop incredible gems. Which, you know, there are you know a lot of players that are going to need incredible gems out there. That's why you could still potentially do um, your boosted runs on 23.8 to still get yourself some incredible gems. Um, you know, from either the Cybermen fight, uh, or even potentially, you know, from the Turles fight or whatever. Or not the Cybermen, but the, um, the launch and, uh, Pilaf fights. Which, you know, the launch and Pilaf fights I've found on 23.8 are very, very common. It's not like it's uncommon for them to show up. They always show up, right? So, like, that, that definitely, if you need to get Incredible Gems, doing 23.8 certainly is not a bad idea whatsoever, right? Um, at this point, we can just go ahead and hit auto, because there's, there's no... There's no freeze soldiers left on the board, so we can just go ahead and auto. So, let me know what you guys think. Uh, remember that link leveling actually is pretty important, but there's varying degrees of importance. Kid Boo on the team right here is, I, I found, I think, one of the characters that is probably most going to be relying on his links in the game. Um, Kid Boo gets a huge, massive amount of attack, defense, healing, everything. Kid Boo is really, really reliant on getting a, a, a several of those core links activated. For him to look really good right big bad bosses characters which kid boo is um you know those characters you really there is a like moon difference between characters having big bad bosses level 10 and then not having level 10 so i do highly encourage global players jp players all players to try and get those big bad bosses characters done first before anything they're very important a lot of the saiyan characters you can get to like link level five or whatever and you're seeing most of their power unless they have one of these links like saiyan lineage or uh royal lineage or i think dismal future is another right where you're able to get multiple key wow both runs sucked this run was really bad that is really bad luck and then the 23 8 run we had really bad luck as well but um unless it's a specific link that gains like a key at link level 10 or big bad bosses a lot of the saiyan characters don't need i think uh link levels as much as many of the villain characters do. Bojack, Turles, Cooler, Kid Boo, right? Frieza. These characters need link levels much, much more. So there we go. That is the strategy I'm employing to get link levels right now. Um, I probably could very likely hit 500 link level 10 units easily during the seven year anniversary. I, I might strive for it to, to go for it sometime around the seventh anniversary. I'm going to spend January to really clean up and just get like a lot of units that still are going to easy in the future. Just get like all of them done now. So I don't have to worry about it. So let me know what you guys think of link leveling and stuff like that. Definitely don't stress yourself out too much with it, by the way. And think like, oh my god, I have to link level so much and blah, blah, blah. It certainly gives you a big power buff. But again, many Saiyan characters such as like this Gohan right here. You know, you get him to like link level fives pretty much across the board. And like it's, it's fine. It's not a big deal. And getting to link, link level 5 is super easy. Make sure you guys are taking this stage serious every day. The daily Master Roshi stage, which is now on global. You, Dude, I've finished multiple units from this Master Roshi stage. Gotten the final link. Gotten so many level 9, level 8, level 10 links from this event. So even if you don't enjoy link leveling... Just get characters you want to get link leveled and do this daily stage because if you have a ton of Zenny training items, link levels, all of it, make sure to do this, right? This will really help. So, um, and, and again, what I would recommend is, you know, don't really worry so much about link leveling all the time, maybe as like a free-to-play player or something like that. 
just use your daily boosts for link leveling and do the daily Roshi stage. And honestly, that will be sufficient. If you just do that, you know, your important characters that need link levels, you are going to be able to have them for those characters, right? So um, again, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.